looking for the latest gist in the world of technology? Look no further, you are about to be served. This is NX Daily Top 5 Tech. At number 5, a robot named Daisy recycles old Apple iPhones in a secret lab. Apple recycles old iPhones in a hidden 9,000 square foot warehouse in Houston, Texas. Inside this warehouse is a robot named Daisy that can disintegrate 15 different iPhone models at a rate of up to 200 per hour. According to Apple's Vice President for Environment, Policy and Social Initiative, Lisa Jackson, Apple builds its device durable enough to survive two to three owners before they get recycled. She also added that there is more than 100 elements plus in an iPhone and the company is looking at how to move them back through the chain. Besides using Daisy to recycle iPhone, Apple plans on licensing the technology to other the companies. At number 4, Instagram considers a functionality that would hide numbers of likes people get on their post. A functionality that was first discovered by social media researcher Jane Wong shows that the social media platform Instagram might be considering removing people's ability to see the number of likes people get on a post. According to a functionality found within the Instagram app, Instagram has considered hiding the number of likes a post gets. This means that viewers can still obsess over the number of likes their post on Instagram gets but others won't be able to. The company has come to say that, and I quote, We want your followers to focus on what you share, not how many likes you get. During this test, only the person who shared a post will see the total number of likes it gets. End of quote. At number 3, Uber gets $1 billion investment from Japanese for its self-driving unit. Transportation network company Uber has gotten a $1 billion investment from Japanese conglomerate SoftBank's vision fund, car maker Toyota and automotive component supplier Dento for its autonomous division called Uber Advanced Technologies Group or Uber ATG. Uber CEO Dara Shahi has announced this via his Twitter account with an accompanying photo of the chief executive alongside executives from SoftBank, Toyota and Dento. The terms of the investment indicate Toyota and Dento are contributing $667 million collectively while SoftBank's Vision Fund is contributing $333 million, a total of $1 billion. At number 2, the anticipated Porsche 911 Speedster finally debuts at New York Auto Show. The Porsche 911 Speedster, which was first shown at last year's Ren Sports Reunion Festival in Monterey, California, as a concept, finally makes its debut at New York Auto Show. The $275,750 chop, lightened and paired back Porsche is based on the 991 Carrera 4 Cabriolet, though its 3,230 IB curb weight is about 200 integrated battery sensor lighter. Buyers will have an option of a heritage design package featuring a unique silver and white two-tone paint, optional door numbers and a Porsche decal running along the side. The brake calipers are painted black while the 20-inch wheels are finished in platinum sateen. Orders begin on May 7th and the cars should start arriving at dealers towards the end of the year. At number 1 After being shipped to reviewers, the Samsung Galaxy Fold has been found less worthy. As the first of its kind, the Samsung Galaxy Fold sparked a lot of interest among reviewers and smartphone enthusiasts all over the world. After being shipped to reviewers, the Galaxy Fold has been found to be unworthy. Several tech outlets have mentioned issues with the device after only days of use. The major Galaxy Fold issue so far relates to its screen. This includes the screen flicking or blacking out and a bump or bulge appearing on the display. This problem started when the user removed the protective film layer covering the phone's display. However, Samsung has replied to this complaint saying and I quote, A limited number of early Galaxy Fold samples were provided to media for review. We have received a few reports regarding the main display on the samples provided. We will thoroughly inspect these units in person to determine the course of the matter. End of quote. Samsung then continued, On the issue of the screens, here is what they said and I quote, The main display on the Galaxy Fold features a top protective layer which is part of the display structure designed to protect the screen from unintended scratches. Removing the protective layer or adding adhesives to the main display may cause damage. We will ensure this information is clearly delivered to our customers. End of quote. And that's it on NX Daily Top 5 Tech. For this and more, follow us on all social media platforms at NAJZ Extreme and you can visit our website. It is www dot